Greetings in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, our soon coming King. There is a word that comes to my spirit um, and I felt led to share it with you. And when the Lord gave me this word, I was amazed because I want to teach you about something. And my topic is every woman that is going to pray or prophesy, pray or prophesy, them head must be covered. And I'm going to, and I'm going to explain that. Every female that pray or prophesy the word of God, the head must be covered. If you are ready to learn about why a female head must be covered, you can stay here. Get your pen, get your paper, and get your Bible. And begins to follow me in your Bible. Every word that verbalize and actualize out of my mouth, I am going to show you in the pages of Scripture. I was about to leave to go on the road. And when the Lord said, I teach this before you leave. So every woman or every pastors or that is a females or a apostles as a female or a leaders or members of a church the head must be covered. Now I'm going to break down the scripture so you can understand why. In a simple, many pastors can't teach this, so I'm going to teach it. So my topic is that every woman's head must be covered. Now, now follow me in your Bible. Follow me in your Bible. Get your pen. Get your pen, piece of paper, and your Bible. Bible, get your Bible. I'm a Bible man. No, no, let's get into 1 Corinthians chapter 11. 1 Corinthians chapter 11. 1 Corinthians chapter 11. Morning, everybody. Greetings in the name of Jesus or good night, wherever you are. I'm going to break down this topic that every woman that pray and prophesy the word of God, their head must be covered. If you are really just and you want to want to learn, then you can change. But if you want to learn, about the Bible and why a woman's head must be covered. Follow me in your Bible. Now, 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 1. Paul was an Paul the, Paul the Apostle. He is the man that write 13 books of the New Testament. Paul the Apostle, his name was Saul. Uh, you find that in Acts chapter 9. You find that in Acts chapter 9 that Paul, Saul turned into Paul. So Paul the apostle, right? He was a very intelligent man and he wrote 13 books of the New Testament. Now Paul is the man that write Corinthians. So 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 1. Follow me in the Bible. If you want to learn about the Bible. Be ye followers of me. Even as I also followers of Christ. So Christ is saying, be followers of me. But be followers of Christ. Follow Jesus. Don't follow what mankind said. Follow Jesus Christ's word. Note. Verse 2 said that in 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 2. 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 2. Now I praise you brethren that he remember me in all things. Not some things. You must remember God in all things. Right? And keep thy ordinance. Ordinance means to keep God's principle and concepts. Keep the word of God. That's basically what he did say. Right? Um, or the ordinance, as I deliver them unto you. As I read the word of God, I'm delivering unto you. Mm -hmm. Follow me in the Bible if you want to know about the word. Every woman here must be covered. Every woman here must be covered. There's a difference between covering and covered. And I'm going to get depths. Follow me in the Bible. Verse 3 said in 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3. But I, uh, but I would have you to know that the head of every, every man is Christ. Every man is Christ. Every 
every man is Christ. Right? And the head of every woman is the man. Now, let's break down this man before I go to the female. Every man. So Christ is the head, then man. Now, Christ, our God, is the supreme being. He is the ultimate being of man. Now I'm going to break down man because I want you to understand this. That man, man, M-A. Now you have two types of men. Sorry, you have two types of man. You have hurtly man and you have heavenly man. Let me say it again. Christ, then man. You have two types of man. You have hurtly man like me and you have heavenly man which is angels let me say it again you have two types of man you have heavenly man known as adam and you have heavenly man known as angel some people forget about angel angel is a man Stick up in right there. Let me get. I want you to understand this man I'm talking. Get into the book of Genesis. Let's get into the beginning of Genesis. Genesis, Genesis chapter 2. Because I have to explain the next man different from Adam. And because if you don't understand this other man, you won't understand why a human head must be covered. Mm -hmm. So this man I'm talking about the You know the natural man known as me Right? Or any other man that have an argument But I'm talking about the heavenly man mm -hmm. And the heavenly man was created before Adam The heavenly man was created before Adam and Eve mm -hmm. Genesis chapter 2 Genesis chapter 2. Let's get into the beginning. Genesis chapter 2 verse 1. Thus, thus, thus the heavens, heavens and the earth were furnished, are finished, sorry, sorry, were, were finished. Thus said the heavens and the earth were finished, done, then done make. And all the hosts, hosts mean what? Hosts mean occupants. Mm -hmm. Hosts, see the word? You see the word? H O S T. Hosts of them, something of a living in heaven. Something of a living in earth. Know that. Let me say it again. I'm explaining that there is two men, earthly man and heavenly man. No. Genesis chapter 2, I am still at, look at verse 4. Because I'm explaining the heavenly man. The heavenly man. Right? Genesis chapter 4. Genesis chapter 2, verse 4. Genesis chapter 2, verse 4. It said that, these are the generations. You see that? Generations mean your offspring. Are somebody uh, that was created by a supreme being. Mm -hmm. So if I'm saying that my generation is mean that my children, children, children are some are family relatives. You understand? Get it now? So when it says that in Genesis chapter 2, verse 4, I am at. He said, these are the generation of heavens. He never said hurt. So you recognize that there is something that was made in heaven. And we call it generation, which means that there are many. Many generations. Meaning that many, many of them. Many of them. Right? So these are the generation of heaven and of earth. So you have generation of heaven 
I am generation of hurt. In a simple format, you have generation of man in heaven. I am generation of man on earth. You get that now? I don't want you to take my word as I'm explaining. But listen to this again. Because some of you still lost. Let's get into the book of of First Corinthians because I'm going to show you that you have two types of man. You have earthly man and you have heavenly man. Earthly man and you have heavenly man. And the earthly man is flesh. Mm -hmm. And the second and the other man is angel. Remember that. Know that. Let me prove it in the page of scripture. In 1 Corinthians, in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 45, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 45, because I want to explain about the heavenly man and the earthly man and why a human head must be covered. Because of angel. But let me get back into the scripture. First Corinthians chapter 15 verse 45. It said that. First Corinthians chapter 15 verse 45. And so it is written. It written in the pages of scripture. Jesus Christ already said that. For it is written man shall not live by bread alone. So it is saying the year again in 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 45. And so it is written, which means noted in the pages of scripture. The first man. When you hear it now? The first man, Adam. Don't you see that 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 45. The first man, Adam, was made a living soul. You see that? The first Adam was made a living soul. The last Adam made quicken a spirit. So one is soul and one is spirit. You get that? Now get into verse 46. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 46. How be that was not first, which is spiritual. So you are a spiritual man. And you are a physical man. Note that. Mm -hmm. Right? But that which is natural, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 46. Which is natural and a far after far, that which is spiritual. Now look at verse 45. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 47. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 47. It said that the first man is of the herd. The first man is of the herd, which is Adam. Remember I told you. The first man of the herd was Adam. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 47. The second man, the second man, the second man, I know you see that. The second man, the second man is the Lord from heaven. The Lord from heaven. The Lord from heaven. Do you know that? Now, let's get back into the scripture. Mm -hmm. People are locked of Isaiah chapter 4 verse 6. Isaiah chapter 4 verse 6. My people are destroyed because of lack of knowledge. Church people are destroyed because of lack of knowledge. I'm bringing knowledge to your mind. Mm -hmm. Isaiah chapter 4 verse 6. My people are what? Lack of knowledge are destroyed because of a lack of knowledge. 
Now I'm explaining why a female head must be covered and a man head must not be covered. But I have to give you the background so you can understand where I'm coming from. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now let's get back into the pages of scripture. Now you understand that there is a man, heavenly man, and an earthly man. Uh -huh. Because in every household there is a man. But the question is to ask you this morning, this afternoon, or wherever you go, is not every man, is not every woman is going to get married. But there is a man have to represent them, which is an angel. You get it now? There is a man have to represent them, which is an angel. And we as believers forget about angels. Mm -hmm. Psalms 91 verse 11. Psalms 91 verse 11. Psalms 91 verse 11. The Lord said that he gave angel charge over you and me. You see why we forget about the local man known as Alco Angel? The angel, we forget about that. Mm -hmm. Do you know that it is angel that carry the word of God to God? Do you do you know that angel is the is the representative of God? But we don't worship the angel, we worship God, Jesus Christ. Hebrews chapter 1 verse 12. Sorry, Hebrews chapter 1 verse 14. Hebrews chapter 1 verse 14. The Lord said that angels are ministering spirits. They minister to us. They minister to us. So angels are ministering spirit. Psalms 103 verse 20. Psalms 103 verse 20. The Bible said that O ye angel who excel in strength, hearken unto the voice, hearken unto the voice, the voice of his command, which means that angel are moved when they hear the word of God. Angel are moved, the angel that was sent to listen to your prayer and your prophecy, to take it up to heaven. Are some are many times bound because they now hear the word. So your angel can't can can move, can't talk because then you, you are not speaking the word of God. Mm. Everybody wants to have their ideas. No, no, I'm not talking to some rebellious spirits. Because you have some rebellious Christians that don't want to cover the hair. You are some rebellious Christians and some rebellious pastors out there that are females that don't want to cover their hair. In, 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 in 1 Samuel, 1 Samuel chapter, 1 Samuel chapter 15 verse 23. 1 Samuel chapter 15 verse 23. And this is for the rebellious and stubborn Christians them. Who don't want to cover their hair? First Corinthians chapter 15. And who are preached that woman of you cover their hair, but I'm gonna explain it more deep and depth. Follow me. I'm getting here, but I'm just setting the foundation. First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 23. For rebellion is a sin. You're too rebellious pastors, you must cover your head. Of witchcraft and stubbornness, you're too, you're too stubborn. Gotta tell you, gotta speak to you, you're stubborn. Right? And stubbornness is as iniquity and idols because, because though as reject, you reject the word of the Lord. He, you reject what me I tell you. Oh, can you reject the word of God? It's not my opinion, it is God's word. It is God's word. See there in First Corinth, in, in, in First Samuel chapter fifteen, verse twenty-three, rebellion, verse First Corinth, First Samuel, First Samuel chapter fifteen, verse twenty-three. For rebellion is a sin, witchcraft and stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry. 
Right? And as, right? Because thou hast rejected the word of the Lord. Get back into Corinthians, first Corinthians chapter. Chapter 11. First Corinthians chapter 11. And this is our woman must cover the hair, and I'm explaining it. Because I want you to learn why a female hair must be covered. And it doesn't mean that if you're going to. Let me get back into the scripture. First Corinthians chapter 11. Right? I I am at verse 4 now. Right? Verse 4. First Corinthians chapter 11, verse 4. Every man that pray, every man that pray. Are prophesying it, having his head covered. Now, come on, sense this. If me have my head covered like this, see that here. If if me have my head covered like this, do you see it covered with that? Because I'm I am taking my time. I disgrace God because. Me as a male, as a man, that pray to God, or prophesying to God, disgrace God because me cover, me covering. This is my covering, and every man by me covering. You see that? This is covering. This this is here. You see the here? This is my covering. Cause man by me covering too. See there? Right? And if me cover, this is covered. The covering. If me cover the covering. And pray to God, may disgrace God as a man. If, we, if, if I come in church and begin to prophesy or read the word of God or pray with my head covered, may disgrace God. That's why a man must not cover his head when he's going into a church or a sanctuary or when he's prophesying to people or when he's sharing the word of God to people. Good morning, good morning. Right? When he's sharing the word, any man. Any male, any man that cover his head and pray, disgrace God. You understand? Dishonor God. Right? So I, I do that because I want you to understand that. Because I'm taking my time here. Right? Right? Dishonor God. Right? Because, because his head. Verse 5 said in 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 5. Every woman that prayeth. And prophesy it with her hair and with what? With her head uncovered. Me born with the ear, you born with the ear to woman. See that? So don't speak like that said, you're here. I could never say this is my covered. You know, sound good. I could never say this is my covered every dresser every whatnot every dresser every whatnot of a natural covering so I'm going to ask you this morning why do you need a runner to put over the covering you understand know? why why I could have put the figure reach them and and, and the color on them and the natural covering. Why you put a runner over the covering, over the natural beauty of the furniture? And every female have a runner, pan and dresser. Majority of them are pan and whatnot. What am I saying is that my skin, my skin is my covering. See there? My skin. My skin is my covering. You understand? Covering is your natural thing that you can't remove. You can't remove natural covering so easy. This is my covering. You understand? But covered is my clothes. I need my clothes to cover my covering. Which is my skin is my natural covering. I need what? My clothes to cover the covering. Because I want you to get it. You, do you understand? Now, get back into the scripture. Right? For verse, verse 5, 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 5. For 
But every woman that prayed and prophesied with her head uncovered dishonor her head, for that is even all one as if she were shaven. Disgrace. Verse 6 said, For if a woman be not covered, let her also shun. But if a be a shame of her a woman, and to be sh sh shun or shaven, let her be covered. For, for a man indeed ought, for a man indeed ought not to cover his head. For a man, I not cover my head. A man of he cover the head. You see verse, verse 7 I say, right? For as much as he is the image, angels are the image of God too. The angel, the angels are the image of God. So the next man that God made was angels. As I said before, follow me in your Bible. Follow me in your Bible. For the rebellious pastors, them who are tell them, the, the ladies, them say they hear nothing covered. The, the devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. Follow me in your Bible. Continue. Right? Now it said that in verse, in verse, in verse 7, 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 7. For, for a man indeed not to cover his head, for as much as he is the image of image and the glory of God. But the woman is the glory of man and angel. We are the glory of man and angel. The Lord said that he give angel charge over us. Psalms 91 verse 11. Whether you're married or you're not married. Angels are this, the heavenly man. That's why we females cover their head. Let's continue. Right? Verse 8 said that in 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 8. For a man is not of a woman, but a woman of a man. Neither, verse 9 said that, neither was the man created for the woman. Created. So angel was created as well. And the angel is a man which I have proved to you in 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse Verse 47. You can, you can read it. Verse 47. 45, 46, and verse 47. Right? Now, continue. Now, it said that this is why a woman covered her head. This is the reason why a woman cover her head. Covering is different from covered. It's two different English words. Who know English? The Bible said that in First Corinthians chapter 11, verse 10. This is the main scripture, the main verse right here in verse 10. Why a woman here must be covered. Verse 10 said that in First Corinthians chapter 11, verse 10. For this heart that the woman of power. Power. Now we're going to separate the man them now. We're going to separate the earthly man from the heavenly man. Because the earthly man, the earthly man has to have mm, an access to God to gain power. Mm, but the angel don't have to have that. Because they already have it already. Because the angel are spirit. So this is the reason why a woman head must be covered. Right? Verse 10. 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 10. For this cause uh, that a woman of power on her head. Because of what? Because of the angels. Me and a angel. Me a man but me and a angel. Because of the what? Because of the angels. Me can't give you power. Come your flesh. But the angel that is in charge of you. Can give you power. Huh? 
No. No, no, no. It never tell it, it never say that a woman must wear them head and head covered all the time. You can go to the market and shopping and your head not to be covered. You can go to the supermarket and your head not to be covered. You can go to the husband and your head not to be covered. You can the only reason when you are covering your head is when you are prophesying to somebody or when you are praying. So if you know say you are market and you know you are going to stop somewhere and pray or suddenly pray, you walk with something to cover your head. You understand what I'm saying? That's the only reason. Because of, because of praying and prophesying. No, no, no. You see, you see I want you to know this. Because when I'm speaking, I want you to understand where I'm coming from. Because you need to understand that angels are the representation of God. Angels are the representation of God. You want me to prove it to you? Hmm? That the angel that brings bring the word to you? Remember that when Jesus mother mary mm -hmm. did about to have to give birth to jesus who appeared to mary it was an angel don't it was an angel and it was an angel that appeared to joseph an angel only forget about that the man now in saint luke saint luke chapter one let me prove it to you St. Luke chapter 1 Because you need to understand that Angels stand in the presence of God That's why a female here covered St. Luke chapter 1 verse 19 The angel St. Luke chapter 1 verse St. Luke chapter 1 verse 19 St. Luke chapter 1 verse 19 and the angel answering, and the angel answering, say unto him, I am Gabriel. So the angel answer and I tell him his name. Let me read it again. St. Luke chapter 1, verse 19. And the angel answering, say, Unto him, I am Gabriel that stand, that stand in the presence, that stand in the presence of what? Of God. That stand in the presence of God. And I am sent. So angel was sent by God to speak unto you and to me. To speak to the females them. Mm -hmm. And to show the, these glad tidings. You see it now? So angels stand in the presence of God. What I said? I said that angels stand in the presence of God. And I want you to understand that. The scripture that I just read a while ago about first, sorry, St. Luke chapter 1 verse 19. And we talk about, we just read about the presence, the man, um, the Gabriel, which is an angel, which is an angel, right, that stand in the presence of God, which is an angel. Now, I'm going to prove to you that the man was, man, the man, M-A-N was linked to Gabriel as well. Can I prove it to you? Now, in Daniel, 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 Daniel chapter 9, Daniel chapter 9, verse 21. Daniel chapter 9, verse 21. Daniel chapter 9, verse 21. The Bible said that he, whilst I was speaking in prayer, Daniel was praying, not you. 
Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done as heard. The man of God was praying. I am praying. Daniel was praying. Daniel chapter 9, verse 21. Daniel chapter 9, verse 21. And he, and he, while I was speaking in prayer, I was speaking in prayer, even, even the man, even the man, Gabriel, but just read in, for, in St. Luke chapter, in, in St. Luke chapter 1, verse 19, about Gabriel the angel. I'm showing that Gabriel is a man. Because he was made as a man, as an heavenly man. He doesn't have the physical appearance, but he was a man. You get it now? So, Daniel chapter 9, verse 21. While, while I was speaking in prayer, even the man Gabriel, whom I have seen in a vision, whom I have seen in a vision at the beginning because to fly swiftly Gabriel move fast than when you blink your eye I quint your eyes Gabriel move fast which is an angel but the Bible says man right right touching me about the time of the Evening absolution. Verse 22. And he informed. He informed at me. I tell you that angel is a minister in spirits. So when you pray to God. The angel come back and minister to your spirit. This is the reason why every female here. Head must be covered. Mm-hmm. Right? Informed at me and talk to me. So the angel talk to us. Because the Lord give angel charge over us. Psalms 91 verse 11. We need to get that. Hebrews chapter 1 verse 14. Angels are ministering spirits. Let's continue. Mm -hmm. Right? Talk to me and say, Oh Daniel, I now come forth to give thee Skills and understanding. So God come to give you skills and understand your ministry. The path. How to walk in your destiny. Mm -hmm. Oh, your gift supposed to operate. Mighty God. Let's get back. Because I feel the anointing over my life. Can I just skip a little bit here in... Uh, 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 I'm um, um, in 1 Corinthians chapter 11. 1 Corinthians. Let's get back into, into 1 Corinthians chapter 11. 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians chapter 11. 1 Corinthians chapter 11. Mm -hmm. 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 11. 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 11. Neither less, neither is man without a woman, neither the woman without a man in the Lord. Verse 12 said in 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 12. Far as the, far as the woman is of a man, even so is the man also by, by the woman. But all things are of God. Uh -huh. All the word of God is of, by God. Right? Verse 13 said that in 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 13. Judge in yourself. It is commonly that a woman pray. And pray unto God uncovered. Because God knew. He not even said man. He said woman. He said judge in yourself. It is commonly. Commonly. Because of the disobedience they know how. Female man cover their head. It is commonly. It's, it has been happening a long time. And they try to take mind every means and every how. But I want to let, 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 let me continue. And uh, uh, um, pray to God uncovered. Don't even then eat. Listen. Don't verse 14 said that in 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse verse 14. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 14. Don't not even its nature 
Nature itself. Does nature itself teach you? Hmm? Nature itself teach you? Teach you that if a man have long hair, it is a shame and to God. Let me deal with the man them now. Can I elaborate and the men them now who are taking the female's glory? But before I even go to the men them, this is a chair that is natural covering. You see? This is a chair that have its natural covering. But you need something to cover, to cover the covering. This is the natural covering, the chair covering. But you need something to cover the covering. So when a woman cover of the natural covering, she needs something to cover the covering. And cover the covering doesn't mean that you're going to stay on it all the time. Because if you cover something, and if you cover your mattress mm -hmm. with the sheet, uh -huh. you're not going to have a mattress. You're not. No human being is going to have clean human being. A, a human being that clean house every day is going to have a mattress full. Uh, sorry, have a sheet covered on her mattress for the entire year. She's going to take it off and wash it. Not, not you. So you have to take off. So the covering, the, the covering is still here, but you can take off the covering and put it down already. The cover, cover the covering. You are what? You are covering, covering the covering. So I am covered the covering. The chair has a natural covering because covering is different from covered. Covering is different from covered so all i'm doing is covering covering or covered the covering i am covered the covering you get it now so it can come off and come on which means that your a females don't have to wear whatever cover her here all the day it's only when she is going to pray or prophesy yeah my daughters them in church can tell you that I am very strict and very firm on that. I am living by the word of God. And let me say this to you. The God that we serve is the same God yesterday, today, and forever. And the same God now Moses days, Abraham days. The God that we serve doesn't, doesn't wear nappy, shimmies, Victoria secret, nighty pyjama. You know, we them sitting there. In the change, and the word the Bible said that in Saint Matthew chapter twenty-five, heaven and earth shall pass, but my word shall not pass away. God word not change, so we now modernize it because of how culture is. The devil is a liar. Have you ever seen a Muslim yet? A Muslim woman? Have we ever seen a Muslim lady? Then cover from head to toe. And then you change it no matter what technology may comes in. They will still cover from head to toe. So why we don't follow the true and living God word to cover our ear when we are praying and prophesying to people? I am finished with the females. Let me deal with the males them now. Let me deal with the man royal. They were want to take females. Females. Here, the devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. Let me deal with the males them. I'm finished with the females them. Let me deal with the male them now who have long hair. They, 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 we call them the man royals or the man too. They want a man yet. First, first Corinthians chapter 11. First Corinthians chapter 11 verse 5. 14. I'm dealing with the man them now. I'm dealing with the males. Because when have males are preached to one, the devil is a liar. We have long hair. The devil is a liar. That is a devil said is not following the word of God. No males must have them head. No, let, 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 me, let me break it down. No preachers. 
No bishop, no apostle, no prophet must have their hair long. None. I don't care who you are. Let me say that again. No apostle as male, no bishop as male, no reverend or pastors or evangelists as male, or any Christians by right must have their hair long as male. The devil is a liar. And I'm going to address every situation. Right? In 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 14. Don't not nature itself teach you that if a man, if a man, he's not talking about woman, no, no, he's talking about man. If a man have long hair, it's a shame unto him. It's a shame unto him. Verse 15 said in 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 15. But if a woman have long hair, woman have the right to have the long hair. But I'm going to address the men them. Females have, a, have, have the right to have a long hair down to her back. Every woman have the right to have that. Because that is our covering. That is our birthright of God give her. Mm. Now listen to this. In 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 15. But if a man, sorry, 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 15. But if a woman have long hair, it is her glory. Is a woman's glory. It's sure beauty when a woman have her long hair. For her hair is given. Her hair is given as a what? Covering. Yes, the word covering now. A woman here was given as a covering. I'm no, and I'm sure that you're seeing that word. C O V E R I N G. Covering. It never said covered. Covered is different from covering. Covered is different from covering. So you see that a woman here is her covering. This is a natural woman covering her hair, her long hair and this is something to cover the covering when my cup is out now let's deal with the man then because I'm not going to say without dealing with the man then I'm not going to deal with the man then because I got to go I got to go the Lord has given me give, give me before and said teach us before you leave this place before I leave here you ever wonder they are using this frame or this new age, I would call it new age demons that are speaking of some pastors and bishops and apostles them who have long hair and we are warrior earrings. I, want, I don't want to get, I don't want to stream. Long hair for males, it's abomination to God. Long hair. Yes! I agree, Samson here was tall. And that is taken in Judges, in Judges chapter 16. Yes, Samson here was tall. But do you know why Samson here was tall? Can I give you the reason why Samson here was tall? Hmm? Let's get into the book of Judges chapter 13. Judges chapter 13. Judges chapter 13. Judges chapter 13. There was an, a woman that was known as Samson's mother. Samson's parents. Because you're going to hear his fathers as well. Samson's parents. Samson was long here. His parents. But if the angel visit his mother, Samson no born yet, Samson no create yet, Samson no exist yet. Judges chapter 13. And I'm going to tell you why Samson here was tall. Why Samson here was long. I'm going to teach you why. The Bible said that in Judges chapter 13, verse 3, the angel of the Lord appear unto the woman and say unto her, Behold, now 
Thou art barren. Sam's mother was barren. Can't have picnic. Sam's mother was what? Barren. Can't have a picnic. You get that? You get that now? Mm -hmm. And the reason why, because there was, before I get back into the verse, there was a, 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 a if you read even going up um, verse 1 coming down, you realize that, that there were some enemies known as the Philistines. But in verse 3 in Judges chapter um, um, 13, verse 3 said that, And the angel of the Lord appeared unto the woman, saying unto her, er, Behold, thou, thou heart barren, and Bearest not, she can't be in a picnic. But thou shalt conceive and bear a son. Verse 4 said, Now therefore beware, I pray thee. Angela talked to his mother, no, no. Drink not. The Lord's, the, the angel giving strict instruction to his mother who did not, who can't have no, can't have no picnic. This is Samson, what I'm talking about. You know. the, pray thee, so the, so, the, so the angel is said, I pray thee, drink not wine. So Samson, what I must not know, drink no wine. There's a covenant. There was a covenant. For her barrenness. You see? When people take things out of that context. Oh man, you must tell the devil is a liar. No man here must not be tall like a female. Samson mother couldn't was barren. Like Sarah. Like Sarah. Couldn't have no picnic. So the angel visit her, giving her a strict instruction. Which is a covenant with Samson mother. Right? Verse 4 said that. Right, drink not wine nor strong drink, and eat not any unclean things. You see it? For lo, thou hast conceived and bear a son. Verse five said that, and no razor, no razor. You, you hear what the angel tell Sam's mother? Why? Sam's no, Sam's no exists yet. Right, no razor. Shall come upon his upon his head, for the child shall be a Nazarite unto God, from the whom there was a covenant, there was an agreement with Samson mother and, the, and, and, the, and God, or the Samson and the Samson mother and the angel. There was a covenant, there was an agreement. You get it now, right? From the whom, and he shall. Begin to deliver Israel out of the hands of the Philistines. So the reason why Samson here was tall is to deliver Israel out of the Philistines, out of the enemy's hands. That is the reason why Samson here was tall. That's one of the reasons. Is to defeat the enemy. So Samson always have the power with him because his heroes was tall. So the power was in his head, in his ear. You get it now? Let's continue. Verse 6 said that in Judges chapter 13, verse 6. Then the woman came and told her husband, she never keep the agreement to herself only. When the angel say, she come back and she speak to her husband what the angel say. Said no reason must go on his bush. He must give a strict instruction. She must not drink wine or strong drink. Mm -hmm. Right? Let's continue. Let's continue. And told her and told her husband, verse 6, saying, A man of God came unto me. She couldn't even recognize that it's, 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 it was an angel. A man of a man of mm -hmm. a man of God came, verse 6. Judges chapter 13, verse 6. Then the woman came and told her husband, saying, A man of God, God came unto me, and his countenance was like the countenance of an angel. She still recognized, she knows I say, an angel. Right? And God was, and 
Angel of God, very terrified, she was afraid. Mashi Kodobahai, right? But I asked him not when, when he was, was neither told he was his name, the angel not telling him not even the name. There was a covenant. Right? Uh, then let's continue verse 7 now. But he said unto me, Behold, thou hast conceived and bear a son, and and no drink no wine, no strong drink, neither eat any unclean things. For the child shall become a Nazareth to God from the womb to the day of his death. You get it now? Verse 8 said that. Uh, then Moab entreated the Lord and said, O oh Lord, let the man of God which thou didst send came again unto us. So the angel come again. You see that? Judges chapter 13. I'm talking why Samson here was tall. Right? And teach us what we should do unto the child that that should be born. You see now? Mm. But because of uh, uh, um, time, the angel, let, 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 let me continue. Verse, verse 10. And the woman made an answer and ran and showed her husband and said unto her husband and said unto him, Behold, the man had appeared unto me and came unto me the other day. And Manal arose and went after his wife. Verse 11, I am at Judges chapter 11, Judges chapter 13, verse 11. Judges chapter 13, verse 11. Mm -hmm. Arose and afterward and came to the man and said unto him, Thou art the man that speakest unto the woman. And he said, I am. So the angel now attacked to Samson father. The angel of the Lord is speaking to Samson father. And the, I'm trying to show you why Samson here was tall. But if any man that have long years of disgrace, but I'm showing you why Samson here was tall. Right? And what I said unto now let the word came to pass. How shall we order the child? And how shall we do unto him? And verse 13 said that, And the angel of the Lord said unto me, uh, Of all that I have said unto the woman, let her be aware. Let her be aware. Listen to this. Verse 14, Judges chapter 13, verse 14. She may not eat. This is the covenant now. Again. She must not eat anything, anything, he never says some things, anything, anything that come from, that come from the vine. So all persons of them here thought, and I'm going to eat tomato, right? Um, melon will grow palm vine, pepper will grow palm vine, and you can name the stuff then that grow palm vine. Some mangoes grow up on vine too. Vine. Psalms must not eat nothing. His mother, his parents must not eat nothing from the vine. So anything that grow up on vine, each they must not eat. Grapes will grow up on vine. They must not eat. Eat anything that grow up on vine. That's a covenant between Psalms parents and God. You get it now? Right? Anything that grew up on vine, 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 neither let her drink wine. So how some people are growing their ear and drink all wine. This is a this is a covenant. You know? Why Sam's ear was tall. Right? Ah uh, wine. Our strong drink. Neither eat anything that is unclean. Find out the things where you eat unclean. Hmm? Find out the things where you eat unclean and you're tall as a man. 
Because you are great here as a male figure. But you eat all the stuff from the vine. Drinking strong drink. Right? I'm eating unclean things. All that I have command her, let her observe. Observe which means that Anna eat. Anna the covenant. Anna the covenant. Amano, Amano said unto the angel, verse 15, the angel of the Lord, I pray thee that let us obtain, obtain in details. I, I, I get it. I get it now. Obtain thee until we shall have, have made ready for the kid, for thee. The kid mean child, Samson. And this is the reason you can go on and on. This is the reason why something here was tall. Can you keep the covenant? Hmm? Drinking strong drink, nothing, nothing from the vine, and you name it. So this is the reason why Samson is not Samson's fault. It was a covenant because Samson's mother was a barren one. Could not have any picnic. Could not have any, have any child. And because of that, in Judges chapter 13, that the covenant that Samson parents is not only his mother alone, you know. It's not only his mother alone. The angel also have to appear to his father as well. So both of them have to come to agreement about Samson and why he's here after be taught. What? And there was a purpose and a reason why Samson here was tall was to defeat the enemies because his strength was in his hair. But there is no more Samson around. There is no more Samson around. I want to ask this question. All of these men that said them here, tall. All of these, these men that have them here, tall. Can they do what Samson do? Can they kill many people, thousands of people, with their hands? Can that individual that here tall manifest the strength that Samson has? Any human being unhurt? No. The answer is no. Samson was made special for a reason. I hope and trust that whatever I said to you. You will learn it. This is the truth. And the truth shall make you free. St. John chapter 8, verse 31. You shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Verse 30 said that in St. John chapter 8, verse 30. If you continue in my word, you are no indeed my disciple. I hope and trust and I explain why a female here must be covered. And I hope and trust that the reason why Samson here was tall, he was the only man here that was tall. And no man should have the ear tall in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Because you are not them. You are not Samson. And any man that grow them here is a disgrace unto God. It's the woman glory to have her tall hair. And it's also it's a, it's a woman duty for have her hair covered when she is praying. Nothing more now. When she is praying and prophesying. So if a woman is cooking her husband food, her hair not to be covered. If she's helping her husband get dressed, she not, her hair not, not to be covered. Mm. If a woman is doing her duties in the home, her head not to become covered. If she's, if she's going to the market and the supermarket, her head not to be covered. But from once you're going into a church, are you going to pray to God? Are you going to evangelize to somebody by sharing the word of God, by prophesying the word of God? Or prophesying what God said, your head must be covered. There's no other reason. 
I hope that I break it as simple as possible because I want you to understand. Don't be like the rebellious, wicked, thieving pastors them out there, right? Who are leading you astray. I am not leading you astray. Let me lead, let, let me let me end this. Let me end this with let me end this live with this word. First Samuel again, first Samuel chapter 15. First Samuel chapter 15, verse 23. For rebellion is a sin. Mm -hmm. It's a sin of a witchcraft. And stubbornness is as I iniquity and idolatry. Because, because thou has rejected the word of the Lord. And he has also rejected thee from being king. If you reject me teaching from the word, because I know my word, and the Bible may read it. The Bible. If you reject this, you reject God. You hear what I'm saying to you? So what have I just said to you? Are the word me teach you? I did not paraphrase it. I did not summarize it. I did not come with a conclusion. I speak as a mouthpiece from God. God bless you. I got to go. But I just the Lord say, no, I teach this before you leave this place. I hope and trust that every female, every male understand. It's not tradition, it's the word. If a woman, it's not tradition, and a tradition if a woman here must be covered. Covered. Not a male, a male here must not be covered. But a woman here must, it's not a tradition of the word. Heaven and earth shall pass, but my word shall not pass away. The Lord said that he magnify his word above all his name. Mm -hmm. Jeremiah chapter uh, um, uh, 20. Ooh, let me get it. Jeremiah chapter 23, I think it's verse, verse 29. Jeremiah chapter 23. Verse 29. The Lord said that my word is like a rock that break rock in pieces. The word of God it break you. It still you. The word of God is like a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. The Lord said that in St. John chapter 15 verse verse 3. St. John chapter 15 verse 3. The word of God said that you are cleansed through that word because that word is truth. Right? St. John chapter 17, verse 17. The Bible says, Sanctify them through that word, God, that word is truth. I word, me you. A word. Nothing but the word. The word. The word. The word of God have I hid in my heart so I might sin against an holy God. Hmm? A word. The word. The word. That's what the Lord said that in Jeremiah chapter 18 that um, Jeremiah go down to my to my house to what to hear my word the word the word Jeremiah chapter 20 verse verse 7 no Jeremiah chapter 20 verse 9 the Lord said because of the word of God Jeremiah said because of his word I feel like fire shut up in my bone it's the word it's the word it's the word if you last this chapter 5 verse 1 the Bible said the reason why is to go to church to what? To hear his word. The word. The word. Job chapter 23, verse 12. Job chapter 23, verse 12. Job said, right? Job said, neither have I esteemed the word. I have, I have esteemed the word of God. Job chapter 23, verse 12. Need no, I have esteemed the word of God more than my necessary food. Job feed on the word. The word. The word. Every scripture that I'm saying is the word. The word of God. E.Q. Last is chapter 3 verse 4. Ezekiel said that. Ezekiel, Ezekiel chapter 3 verse 4. The word of God is sweeter than any onic one. The word. It's the word of God that will make a difference in your life. Eh? If any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. 
all things are passed away and all things become new. Psalms 55. Mm -hmm. If any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. All things are passed away and all things become new. It's the word. It's the word. In the beginning, St. John chapter 1. Mm -hmm. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God. And the word is God. Mm -hmm. Verse 14 said that in St. John chapter 1 verse 14. The word of God took on flesh and dwelt amongst man. The word. It's all about the word of God. So when I teach you, I teach you the word of God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's the word. 1 John chapter 5 verse 14 or 12. Mm -hmm. For this is the confidence that I have in him. That if I ask anything according to his will, he shall hear us. The word. The will is the word of God. It's the word. Mm -hmm. It's the word of God. You can't go wrong when you have the word. Mm -hmm. Psalms 119. Psalms 119. Verse 89. Forever. Forever, thy word is settled in heaven. It never said hurt. Psalms 119 verse 89. Forever, forever, thy word is settled in heaven. It's the word. Nothing but the word of God. I hope and trust that everything that I've said Mm. You will learn. Mm. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And share it with your friends. Share it with your family. Share it with your boss. Share it with your pastor about this wonderful topic. Mm -hmm. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God's to go. Bless you. In Jesus' name.